So good day. Um, this will be the third part of the introduction to operations management. So let me um, continue with the discussion on process management. Now we're going to discuss the aspects of process management. So first is managing a process to meet demand. So we have already discussed that in process, there is input, and then the process, and then of course the output. So managing a process to meet demand. This is making sure that what is being demanded by the market or customers or the consumers matches on what is being produced. This is because too much production will result in additional cost and possible loss. If too much supply, but not much on demand, thus capacity planning is also important so let us take an example of uh, what's happening this time around we are on pandemic in the old normal you might um, it is a very familiar view when you go out of the gate of Norsu there are a lot of stalls right within capital there are a lot of food stalls so do you think they are still producing the same amount of food now compared to last time? Of course not, right? Because before, there is demand. The students were there hungry or want to grab some snacks. So they have to produce more because this is what being demanded by the market or the consumers. However, now... The only ones left are the employees of uh, from various institutions within that area. But the, bu but the bulk of the customer were students in the old normal. So now the demand goes down. So of those businesses, small stores in that area, they either close. A few are still there, but they don't produce more because they believe that there is not much demand by the consumer. So if they cook a lot of food and no one is buying it, what, are, what will happen to them? It's going to be an additional cost of production. At the same time, not only a possible loss, but it will really be a loss because they already know that the market is not there. So why are they going to produce a lot of food if there's no market? So that's the, that's the concept of it and process management or manage, managing the process to meet the demand of the market. So in process management, there is capacity planning. There is, and then there are two types of capacity planning. So the capacity planning is the process of determining the production capacity needed by an organization to meet the changing demands for its production. So the two types of capacity planning are Design capacity and effective capacity. So design capacity is the maximum amount of work that an organization is capable of completing in a given period. Effective capacity, on the other hand, is the maximum amount of work that an organization is capable of completing in a given period due to constraints such as quality problems, delays, and, mater and material management. So let's continue with the example on the food stalls outside of our school. So let's just say their big walk in the dialect Kalaha on Kawa Ngadako can cater up to in a single batch up to let's just say fifty vegetable lumpia in a single batch. So that is um, it's design capacity. It is designed to cater a maximum amount of 50 lumpia, vegetable lumpia in a single batch. So that is your design capacity. So what is effective capa capacity? So here the, ama the maximum amount of work that an organization can produce or able to complete Provided that there are constraints probably or delays and other material management. 
So let's just say that is the mac the if design capacity of the walk or the kawa. So the effective capacity is let's just say twenty five pieces in one batch. So provide given that there are circumstances that that or constraints that the design capacity is not able to be fully used up because of probably delays and in this example that we're, got, we're having is that there are environmental factors that affects why is it the stores are not producing much so we have pandemic and students are not allowed to to go to school in a physical face-to-face -face discussions and the likes so materials material probably there are less materials provided by the market or the materials or the equipment and the and the ingredients are let's just say um, more expensive than before because there's not much produced by the farmer as well or they cannot deliver it in the in the market because of some of the covid so that's it so that is on design and effective capacity i hope you understand what is the difference it's it's like if you want another example it's something like this um design capacity is the maximum and then effective capacity is the minimum minimum if or provided that there are constraints happening that are somehow either controllable or cannot be controlled by by the organization so the next is process variation there are four basic sources of variation so what do you what is variation or var vary it means different different from one another the first is the variety of goods or services being offered the greater the variety of goods and services the greater the variation in production or service requirement let's take for instance a restaurant yes the restaurant um, caters or provide a lot of choices of food these are there there are variety of goods so as you can see if there are varieties of goods or services being offered then the variation of production or the service requirement also varies or there are a lot of them because you cannot cook the rice the same you can the rice you cook the corn right or you cannot cook you cannot um, there there is a variation between how you cook pancit gisado and pancit gisado and pancit bam e right so this is um too much variation equals to variation also in production second is structural variation in demand this variation which include trends and seasonal variation are generally predictable they are particularly important for capacity planning um a very good example for this is the clothing line the RTWs. When you're trends, um, seasonal clothing company produces RTW or clothes during winter that is suitable for winter, right? Structure or something that is predictable, and then they're gonna produce um, clothes during summer that is suitable for summer. These are something predictable, and now in the philippines or probably just in the city or probably some part of other country korean fashions are on the trend so if the clothing company can see this of course they're gonna produce um rtws and clothes and other accessories that of that relates to korean fashion because they know this is this is what the market the, the market um, demands so 
that's why it is also important for them to know what are their capacity or the capacity of their of their machineries and how they had how they gonna process uh, they manage their processes and of course there are those random variation this natural va natural variability is present to some extent in all processes as well as in demand for services and products and it cannot generally be influenced by manager so random variation i'm gonna mention a, a company here um universal food rubin universal rubina urc universal rubina corporation I hope you're familiar with this because you are you've been eating their products and think, thinking their products. Mm -hmm. um, they have, they are the ones producing Jack and Jill. You're already familiar with Jack and Jill products, right? I'm gonna mention some of their products. Um, Nova, Mr. Chippy, I think Mr. Chips also, and the likes, and then drinks. Sito from di different flavors and different prices. So they have uh, in their processes they have random variation of their products. I believe also I hope I'm, I'm right. They also produce uh, feeds for for poultry and cows and pigs. I think so. They have random variation of their products. Assignable variation. This variation are are caused by defective inputs incorrect work method out of adjustment equipment and so on this type of variation can be reduced or eliminated by analysis and corrective action of course um this needs to be corrected by the organization so that it will not affect the process management or the processes of the organization The next slide, we'll tackle about the scope of operations management. So the, their activities include forecasting, capacity planning, um, locating facilities, and then facilities and layout. So forecasting, I believe you have heard already from the word forecast, like the weather forecast and the likes. Such, such things as future market demand, how much to produce, or future economic trends or the trends in each season of the year so in the previous slide the process variation they also need to forecast what are the demands or if it is seasonal demands they can forecast that this is the needs for that certain season either winter summer and the likes however they need also to forecast as to how much to produce and for whom to produce of course clothing industry in the philippines cannot cannot produce winter coats because we don't have winter we only have two seasons here and probably economic trends this is either for the pro uh, products or um services on what is the usual in the philippines during summer um cold beverages shakes um juices milk teas and the likes are really on the trend during during of course summer because the weather is really really hot and humid and of course during winter like as of no we don't have winter during rainy season uh, cold season from october to december and probably oh sometimes until january and february coffee and hot tea are also on the trend on the menu in terms of food so um company needs to i mean they forecast they need to stock up more on that on the ingredients for that certain season capacity planning of course we already discussed this as to how much your facility is able to produce uh, a maximum to meet demand and how much is the capacity of the facility when of course certain condition presents and then locating locating facilities according to managers decision on which cities to provide service or where to distribute your products of course there's is also market segmentation you cannot just you cannot just put your product in a certain market wherein you know there's no one no one will buy it or no one will gonna patronize it for instance um 
papers, band papers, and other school materials. You should distribute this to areas where schools and offices are really present, right? So you're gonna you're not going to put it in areas where tourism is more on demand than offices and schools. So for where to locate locate the maintenance facilities and where to locate major and minor hubs for your organization. Facilities and layout, the ergonomics, the machineries, and the technology used is important in achieving effective use of workers and equipment as well. So facilities and lay layout. So this, um, the company should make sure or the, the operations manager should make sure that one process to the next process until the output comes out there's no overlapping of machineries or if you walk this way you're gonna bump into someone else's because the path is too narrow so this is facility and layout they have to make sure that there is enough breathing space um, wherein employees can just freely walk around and there are necessary warning signs that or warning signs or exits and entrances so that if the process is ongoing there is a smooth flow not only the process itself of how inputs turns turns into outputs but also how people within the operating area or the operation site uh, move along and can move freely without bumping each other or having to cause accident because this is also bad for the organization and they have to to plan this and then of course um, another vital thing that the scope of operation should understand is scheduling scheduling managing inventories assuring quality motivating and training employees and of course no scheduling is knowing when to produce or provide the service and organize manpower and technology to do it so scheduling you're so familiar with scheduling already because every semester you're doing this to make sure that um, you have enough time to study from one subject to another or enough time to rest so that you have the energy to go to the next class right so this is knowing when to produce or when to provide the service this um, our institution the school provides service right that is education so when when the head of a department assign teachers for certain subjects they don't assign two subjects and then that two subjects will be catered on the same time because the the instructor have only one body so they, he or she cannot do it all at once at the same time so this is also um, what the organizations are doing they have to schedule um, when to produce this um, where, when to provide this and of course the manpower and the technology that are being used in order to produce such product or service next is managing inventories making sure that you meet the demand of the customer at the same time having enough inventories for future production or provision of service it is very ironic um, if you went to a a massage parlor and then they will said oh mom I'm so sorry we don't have massage oil anymore points what is that what kind of mas massage parlor if is that if they don't have enough uh, massage oil for their for their customers they rat that is not man they they have not managed their inventories very well or sometimes you get dismayed when you dine in a restaurant and you're craving for let's just say you're craving for hamburger you're you're already imagining those huge patties with bacon and and cheese and and coleslaw and among other things that they put on it and then with the side of french fries and you're already imagining it and you went to that certain restaurant and then you order it because you expect them to have this product because they, it is in their part of their menu and then when you order it 
after a few the waitress or waiter already took your order and then after a few moments they just said oh mom i'm so sorry we don't have patties anymore we cannot provide you with your order then what happened with if you what happened to organization if they cannot provide the demand of their customer of course the customer will going to be dissatisfied and dissatisfaction will cause customer to of course um word of mouth ah, don't go to the restaurant because they always have they don't always have this type of food and when you want it they do, cannot provide it so that is also bad so it is really important that um, organization manage your inventories so that they can meet the demand of their consumers next assuring quality assuring that certain quality measure is being done before during and after the product is sold or service is being rendered so um, quality and security is being really handled especially during the especially especially um, it is more more than what is the usual before bef um, service in terms of service and of course products and products and services when you want to go to a, a a restaurant or a department store because they want to assure quality and the safety of their of their customer they they want uh, they need you to write your your um, contact details and check your temperature and then ask you questions if you've been to high risk area or if you've been outside of the country because this is part of assuring quality and then um, assuring quality also when of course everybody has smartphones right why did you choose the brand of phone you have right now it's not only because of the features they have that is just an add-ons but you know that this brand of cell phones you are using right now ensures you of the quality they provide because you have probably probably read from their reviews or prob probably go to their website of that cert of the company or the 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 phone the company phone that you have right now and then look at their quality assurance and the likes because you as an end user don't want to waste your money on products or services that it that does not provide quality and next is motivating motivating and training employees in all phases of operation all that we have been discussed in the scope of operations management are useless without the people being motivated to work on your objectives what are the objectives to of the organization of course prov provide quality products and services and maximize the profit of the shareholders so th this cannot be achieved if people are not motivated if people in the organization are not being trained and updated with the latest technology that will enable them to produce more output so it is also important that you motivate your employees and then encourage them provide rewards if the for a job well done and the likes so now the, those are the scope and the op in the operations management so what are the what is and what or what are the functions of the manager in the floor? So the operations manager makes decision that affect the design of the system. While other decisions that the operation manager manager does affects the operation of the system. His function is to guide the system by making decision. So the forecasting, the scheduling, that's part of his decision motivating is also part of his decision facilities and layout is part of his decision the system design involves decisions that relate to system capacity geographic location of uh, facilities arrangement of department and placement of equipment like i said the layout and facilities you have to make sure that when when you're when you're producing or providing service there is no overlapping there is no bump on the roads it is you have a smooth flow of operation and what is system operation it involves management of personnel so this is where where uh, motivation comes in inventory 
inventory of your people not only people but also the the products the factors of your production the input and control of course control this uh, control this is where quality comes in and feedback is being responded to scheduling project management and of course quality assurance generally the functions of the operations manager is tactical and operational decision so if we have already discussed design capacity and effect um, effective capacity those are part of of the operations manager's function making decision if there are constraints within the production how much are they can they produce at a certain time and if of course if nothing's needed uh, they need to also pro produce what is being demanded by the market and cope up with the demands of the market to produce the necessary output they need to produce so the oper to, in addition the operations manager has a vital stake in the system design because system design essentially determines many of the parameters of, of of systems operation so when you're talking about the system it's not only the operation in the floor in the production area but this the decisions of the operations manager affects other other functions of the organization as a whole the operations manager may not directly be responsible in making all the design the design of the operation because the accounting department has say to it the marketing department has say to it and among other departments in the organization he may not be responsible in making all the design but his or her inputs is needed to provide those decision makers among other decision makers in the organization with a wide range of information so technically the operations manager is very vital to other functions of the organizations and then of course what are the other support functions of in the operation functions in the organization purchasing so responsible of the procurement of materials supplies and equipment so this is where um, this is where supply chain comes in and inventory comes in also industrial engineering concerned with scheduling performance standards work method quality control and material handling so industrial concerned with scheduling they know when to schedule and of course performance standards the how are they going to measure the quality of output an employee makes or what is the standard for certain um for certain like cell phone what is the standard for a quality cell phone what is the standard of a quality motorcycle if it is a motorcycle how does what necessary what necessary tools are they going to use in order to um to comply with that certain standard distribution involves in shipping shipping of goods to warehouse retail outlets or to final customer of course distribution let's just say the manufacturing for, um i'm gonna mention another company coca-cola has a um, bottling and manufacturing company in Bacolod. So, how, where are they distributing? So, it is also part of the support operation of in operations management on how they're going to distribute these products. Maintenance responsible for general upkeep and repair of equipment, building and grounds, and even security. So, we're so familiar with uh, maintenance. Like you just don't you don't only um, maintain or or repair if it is already damaged but you also maintain even if it is not yet damaged you keep on checking your equipment not only equipment also your manpower if it is still working accordingly so that is for operation support for operations function so that ends part three of oper introduction to operations management